and guess what? Got knocked over. But I have it on good authority that he's in good spirits and he's getting better ever so quickly. Get well soon, Pete. We're all thinking of you. Kylie, have you brought your camera in this morning? No, I didn't. I normally travel with it. I didn't bring it today. Well, do you want me to give you a Polaroid just for the morning? Because there's an idea you might like. There's a chap called Dave Hogan in this morning. Ever oh, heard of Dave, Dave Hogan? Hogan. <laughs> He's been known to sort of pop up and loom large with his camera, just when you're not expecting him. And yes. take pictures that then appear in, you know, the Sunday colour supplements in the newspapers. Mm -hmm. Well, would you like to take some pictures of him? You could snap him while he's getting his makeup on. You know, while he's scratching his nose so it looks like he's actually Brilliant. going to pick it. And when his <laughs> eyes are half closed. Okay. So if you take some pictures that. this morning, and then maybe you could sort of bring them back on and confront confront him with them. Mm. How do you feel about that? I, I, I'm sure he'll be hard to catch, but I'll do my best. Do your best, Kylie. Yes. I'll leave it up to you, okay. right? Thank Get you. your own back time. <laughs> now, Phil. Gordon, letters. We could take a picture of Phil, actually, couldn't we? Mm. Shall we? Shall we go and start with Philip? There we are. Right, normally, <laughs> normally what they look like. Oh, my God, it's Rabbit, like... Rabbit, she's got you. She's got you. Right, <laughs> well done. This is worth a lot of money. <laughs> yes, and just leave it here, eh? <laughs> just leave it here. Mm, we shall see. So how are you doing? Are you OK? Yes, I'm very what well, are you thank doing? you. What are you doing at the moment? What's sort of at happening moment, now? Well, I've just been promoting my new single mm. and I've been back in the country just over one week so straight back into it when you were younger did you have a haircut from hell I had many haircuts from hell yeah you're not gonna no show no I'm not gonna show any of you what I'm gonna <laughs> do horrible, horrible. is I'm just gonna dig I'm gonna dig some out we've got an item running at the moment on going live which is haircuts from hell scare cuts we call them I thought you might be interested to see some of these Ooh. So I'll give you the photos, you hold them up, right? So you hold them up while I read the letter. Whilst watching last week's show, we thought some of the old photographs of people with dreadful haircuts were quite funny until our grand showed us mm. the enclosed photo of our mother when she was at primary school. Her name at that time was Helen McCabe, is now Malone. Malone McCabe? Oh no, Helen Malone. We think she was about eight or ten when this was taken. That's come from Gordon, Nicky and Lindsay. That is something. That's a heck of a haircut. We reckon she's the headmistress now, because she certainly looked like she was growing up that way. There's your, uh, there's your next one. Um, I thought that we, we would like to see this picture of my husband, Billy Prince. It was taken when he was at school, uh, when uh, the fashion was long hair. Not sure the fashion was ever quite that sort of hair. Picture gets um, shown, would you please say, that it's my husband, as our son's name is Billy as well. That's from Tracy Prince. This it's not must be the bringing back some horrible memories for people. And the winners, so far this week, although there's no prize, but you do go through the grand final. <laughs> this is a beauty. This is unbelievable. After oh, yeah. seeing the part of your program <laughs> dedicated to horrendous haircuts, this photo sprung straight to mind. My sister Jennifer and I spent many a tearful night after my mum decided to do a DIY job on our long locks. <laughs> Although it was more than ten years ago, as shown by the colours, still brings back bad memories and gives my friends something to laugh about. Although it may seem strange, I'd appreciate it if you would send the photo back. <laughs> You look like a couple of mushrooms there. Oh. <laughs> Nightmare haircuts. And how's can I, yours? Can I show this? How's yours come out, yeah? Why, why you put that? Let me see. Yay, caught you in You'd the act. very good paparazzi <laughs> photographer. A little bit later on, we'll uh, we'll discuss um, your relationship with the, with the paparazzis and with the press and stuff. So uh, so hang around, and also you're gonna you're gonna sing for us as well, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Thanks for the moment, Kylie. Let me just show you uh, show you this. In the meantime, we're talking about the sort of the Sundays and things, and a uh, little bit of a problem. I enclose a picture of you and Gordon. Excuse me, I'm terribly sorry. Sorry, we're just finishing. I think there, someone's yeah. fixing Pete Evans's leg actually over there at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Get well soon, matey. We're all thinking of you. I enclose a picture of you and Gordon. Um, this was in the News of the World last Sunday. Got a great smile on your face, but poor Gordon looks like he is in pain. Uh, this is one of thousands of these that were sent in by, um, by a married woman. <laughs> that can't be right. Oh, there it is, Barbara Leach. Not married woman, I thought it was a strange name. Here we go. Here, the, Gordon would appear to be held together with a safety pin. <laughs> and also, down here, he would appear to be held together w with a safety pin. Um, that was just keeping your feet together, Gordon, wasn't it? Yes, because they were very big boots and they kept spreading, didn't they? But it wasn't through your feet, was it? No.